Hey YouTube, it's Ily Caps. This video will be showing you how to get the iClassic iPod Classic emulator for your iPhone or iPod Touch. It's a pretty uh, awesome uh, application for me. You actually get to have an iPod Classic on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So, first I will show you how to get it. First you have to go into Cydia. Now it does take a little bit of time to load. Uh, you have to be jailbroken, obviously, to get this app and I will be showing you what sources to add and what you need to install. You also should have Winterboard installed, but I'm pretty sure if your iPod is jailbroken you'll have that installed in the first place. Okay. So, first we're going to go to Manage. I don't know what that is. Uh, give me a second. This is the one downside to City. It always is really slow. And for some reason I always have to reload my data. Okay, so we're going to go to Sources. And the source you need to install is called Be Your, own, Be Your iPhone. And it is... I'll have the like uh, the repo in the description, but it is repo.beeriphone.com, and that is the source you'll need unless you want to pay for this. So I'll just go there. And what you're going to look for once you have this in this uh, source, oops, once you have this source, you want to go to iClassic. And you want to install iClassic first. And then you also will want to install. Yeah, let's go into search. To make it actually look like. To make it actually have the real click wheel of the iPod Classic, you want to install a theme too, which you'll have to set up using Winterboard. Okay, so you also want the here we go iPod Classic theme, and if you want it to look realistic, you want to install this. Okay, so now that you have both of those installed, I will show you how what it looks like and what you should be doing. Well, actually, first you're going to want to go to Winterboard once you have both installed. And you have to check the iPod Classic theme at the top. And if you don't check it, it will not look like a real iPod Touch. I mean, iPod Classic uh, click wheel. But it'll still work. Okay, so now we're going to go into the iClassic app. That's what it will look like if you don't have the click wheel. And now, right now, it looks like the real one. Okay, so this actually works exactly like the original iPod Classic did. Uh, if you can hear the volume, it has the clicking noises. I love these. <laughs> As you scroll, and you can play all your songs, you go to your albums, artists, playlists, and it just works pretty much like an iPod Classic. The only thing downside is that it does take a little bit of loading time sometimes when you first get it started because it's not actually an iPod Classic. So let's just go to songs. See, it's loading there. But it actually, it won't need to load again once you have it open. Okay, so let's just go to. Just a random song. And all the buttons work the same as an iPod Classic would. So then you also have your volume controls like you would on a normal iPod. And this is pretty cool. And you have the time, your battery, shuffle, your album. It, it's, it's really great. If you like the iPod Classic, you're really going to like this interface. It has the same interface. So then, let's go to settings. Uh, you can also choose to make your iPod silver. I prefer the black one. I think it looks more realistic, but silver looks cool too, I guess. And you have your music options, shuffle. If you have an iPhone, you can have it uh, vibrate, and you can have shape to shuffle on. 
Oh, and one more thing. You can also have the iPod. This application will open if you double tap it. Double tap your home button. And this is pretty cool because it it might not work, but if it does, it's really cool because you can listen to it as without going to the app. And so if you want to use this as your main music player, it will be really nice. So I'll stop that for a second. Uh, let's see if the double tap works on my iPod. It doesn't seem to be working, but it did work before when I had it installed, so it might work for you, might as well try it. It's uh, pretty neat, and so overall this is a great application. Oh wait, yeah, it's a great application overall. Uh, it would be even better if that worked, but it might work for some of you. <laughs> so I really recommend you go download this application. Uh, I'll have the repo link in the description. And if you have any questions, go uh, ask me. Send me a message. So thanks for watching. This is another video. Uh, bye.